So, so let's go ahead and uh, basically uh, see um, why uh, this topic was important uh, for us to really go um, as a webinar. Uh, so when, when we talk about a large project, uh, the first question which is asked is, um, what is basically a large project? Uh, wh what do you consider a large project? So for example, if we have um, a requirement and that requirement uh, needs uh, development of uh, two months, uh, it's 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 a rule of thumb that uh, if it's two months plus, then it's it's considered to be a large project, uh, at least from the consulting which we do or uh, consulting which I have been involved. Um, and if you consider that um, uh, each day you're working six hours, uh, which you are billing to the customers um, or users, and um, you're working five days a week, and uh, basically if um, I have uh, four uh, uh, weeks here, not twenty days, so basically uh, thirty into four is 60, 120 hours here. So it will be more likely, uh, and then yeah, we have to also multiply it by two. So it will be about 240 hours. So if you are getting a requirement from a customer and uh, your customer is uh, willing to uh, give you 240 hours of billing, uh, then that will be considered into a large uh, project, uh, big project. Um, so basically the calculation um, is done um, as a rule of thumb. Um, some of the projects which are in support domain might not be uh, considered as a big project even if uh, you got uh, 240 hours of billing. Uh, mostly in implementation project if anything above 240 or about 300 plus uh, which will be considered as a big project. Um, and this is the billing hours. This is not really uh, any uh, hours which uh, you will be just putting the customer, um, the invoice to, uh, you're invoicing the customer, but you'll be actually getting paid for. Uh, now what happens next is uh, when we try to uh, look uh, into our um, uh, projects, uh, then why the complexity comes? Um, I think the major reason why the complexity come is first um, the requirement is complex in itself and um, there are two parties or more than two parties involved. If you are having only one customer, uh, only one people uh, set of people to really work with and then sometimes they are very easy to talk to you will be directly asking your questions uh, to them and uh, they will be answering your queries uh, right in front of uh, like you, know, you can get this requirement cleared but as soon as we have two parties for example let me give an example in project course specifically when we were uh, building the core itself we have two set of people the one was uh, this enterprise end and uh, the other was uh, the e-commerce end. And the e-commerce uh, company was pretty big. And uh, they were talking in terms of um, sales, uh, margin of volume, uh, the throughput of, through which the warehouse is getting um, their products from each vendors and uh, throughput um, they are selling it. Uh, so all these terms were pretty different. Uh, the other end was the enterprise end, which was a book publishing company. And then they are having a giant um, ERP, which is SAP HANA, running the entire show. And then uh, they are speaking more on terms of material management. So the standard terms which was coming in was uh, inventory management, uh, um, master data, a bar table. So someone has to have the experience of both a ERP uh, side uh, on specific software which your customer is using to be able to understand uh, your customer and uh, from an e-commerce and you have to have certain bit of exposure with their software and uh, not exactly with their front end but maybe a little bit about the overall architecture what database they are using uh, or most of the time this will be the business user meeting uh, when you are going for the requirement gathering so you need to understand some of the terms and terminologies and do your homework and the homework includes uh, to understand some of the basic dictionary uh, of your customers that is essential because uh, they will be only speaking in terms of those points um, and if you sound like someone who don't understand that then that will be uh, very difficult for them to really uh, first of all tell you or make you understand the basics and then really ask you to do what they want to do so getting the dictionary right is a major point here uh, when we were uh, also working with some of the telecom giant here um, in the Saudi Arabia region, what we found specifically is uh, they were having a lot of technical terms in terms of their uh, network cabling, 
and um, their boxes which they install and the copper wires optical fibers and when you go specifically to this business meeting uh, then you have to understand what are those boxes how the coaxial cable is built uh, and how the data is taken so those specific uh, uh, theory part um, of the function side of the customer you should be aware about